Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment, the video we all been waiting for, the double push tutorial. Welcome Skate World, the most suggested, recommended, awaited, requested video of all time. The double push video is now here. I put a lot of effort into it and I promise I will be teaching you to do the double push on inlines. The fastest technique there is. And I already proved that in a previous video where I compared it to classic skating. Anyways, welcome, take a seat or tie your skates and we're about to get started. the double push is a quite difficult technique otherwise I wouldn't even make this video and that means that before you get into this you really need to know a lot of basics you need to have the strength the endurance the mobility the balance the stability to actually perform the double push movement and to do it efficiently therefore if you haven't already I suggest you watch my previous videos there's gonna be a lot of drills and just basic knowledge on how to get to the point where you can do the double push um, also, I suggest you take a look at my weightlifting for inline skaters. It's a program I made, specially made for inline skaters. And also my 12 week plan if you want to get in shape and fit for a marathon on wheels. All right, when we're past that, um, the double push is a quite specific movement. It was invented by Chad Hedrick back in the early O's and then perfected by Joey Mancia, another skating legend. And uh, today it's pretty common amongst the best skaters in the world. The whole idea is that you do a double push. We're going to get into that later, but you want to push underneath yourself and then do a classic push away from yourself, hence the double push. Given that the double push is quite a complicated matter, at first, the first part of this video, I'll really just try and explain what it is and how to do it. After that, I am gonna picture it a little better and show you how to optimize your double push. Because again, there is a big difference between putting your feet and kind of slaloming them under yourself and actually do a push. So either you're just wasting time or you're doing an efficient push and then you're gonna, well, technically push twice as much as your opponents. So first part, we're gonna look at what it actually is, how to do it, second part, how to optimize it and do it effectively. Each of these two parts of the video, I will be showing you from three different angles. First off, I'm just gonna explain it, go through it. It'll be a little more simple. Then after that, I will try and show you my feet. We'll do a little bit of slow-mo so you can really get the idea of where you want your feet to be. And then ultimately I will show you myself skating so you can get more of, more of an idea of how it's actually going to look when you're out skating and then try and imitate that until you get to the point where you're floating around with all your double pushes. Okay, enough showing off, let's get down to business. We can, to simplify, divide the double push into three movements. The first is where you push off and then you land the leg. So it's just a classic push here. And then landing the other leg underneath yourself, ideally right under the center of gravity. What you would want here is for everything to be relaxed and just set that, that leg down into the ground right under your center of gravity because this allows you to push right away in, well, actually either direction, but here, because we already got the lean, it's gonna come naturally that you're gonna push underneath yourself. Here, you're gonna use the opposite leg to create this under push, the double push. And ultimately, the third step is when we have that leg behind, we can compress the wheels after we've done the, the first of the two pushes and then flex them to the inner edge again and continue with the double push. Here I'm just gonna show you my feet as they're rolling. As you can see, I put it into the ground almost right on top of the wheels. It's important throughout the entire double push and skating in general to have your wheels and your, your uh, frames aligned with your legs, your shins. Um, that way you're, you're able to transfer more power into the ground. Here we see it at a little faster pace, but again, 
one thing that goes for all of this is that I put down the foot right under my center of gravity, push under myself, use the other leg as, as leverage to compress, and here I'm flexing on the wheels, and going from the outer edge to the inner edge, and pushing off. As you can see, this really allows you to get more of a rhythm when you're skating. Here we're going to see my full body skating here. I'm just going to make it through the turn and you'll be able to see how it feels like I'm floating and really using my body weight instead of my muscles to create pressure and power. See, it's almost like this little bounce in the legs and that's what we're really chasing here. So when you're skating, you should really feel like it's not really a struggle to do this. Obviously, it's going to be hard because you're pushing into the ground, but you shouldn't be forcing the movement. You should already have the leg ideally placed right under your center of gravity because you got that natural lean from pushing off. You're going to fall onto the skate and then push underneath yourself. And there's a really big difference because it's quite easy to do the movements I do here, but to do them with power and pressure into the ground is a whole different thing. Okay, so let's try and just slow things down and take it frame by frame. Here I am on the top of my wheels, and as you can see, I got my whole body weight right on top of those wheels, so I can really start pushing to the side. Next frame here, I'm extending that leg and I'm finishing off my push, and at the same time, I'm letting that other leg naturally drop down underneath myself and start putting pressure. And this is where I got all the pressure on that leg, so this is right in the middle of my under push. And here, thanks to that leg behind, the recovery leg, it gives me that leverage so I can start twisting and compressing the wheels and turn it into another classic push straight to the side. And in the next frame, I'm gonna naturally fall down on it, as you can see here. So I already have the momentum from the other leg that I'll be stretching and then just skate right onto this one and start pushing underneath myself. As you can see here, everything really has to be aligned in order for you to get the most out of your pushes. Shoulders, knees, toes. I appreciate that you all watched this video. I hope you wanna share it with your friends, your skater buddies, and whoever you think might be interested in becoming faster in skate. Subscribe to my channel, check out other videos I've done. There is a ton of them and I put a lot of effort into them, so uh, I hope they'll benefit you guys. And uh, that's all there's left to say. If you need a little more coaching, hit me up personally. You can DM me on Instagram. I'll also put a link in the description and I will help you out with a plan for your training. And also I got weightlifting plans and the other plans below. So check it out um, and stay tuned for more. Comment if you have any questions, either questions on the double push or just suggestions or ideas or whatever it could be in terms of skating. It was a blast. I'll see you next time, guys. Wait a second, before you move on to the next video, I'd like to introduce you to Sihi. It's a brand new concept that generates an AI-based training plan. All you gotta do is to plug in your goals, plug in your availability, and let them know your level, and then you can actually generate your own training plan. They're launching for 12 different sports, and best part, skating is one of them. You can already download the beta version for free in the description below. I tried it myself, and trust me, you do not want to miss out.